Hello everyone. The topic for today is hormonal regulation of spermatogenesis. Now spermatogenesis as the name suggests refers to the formation of sperms in human males. Now as a human male reaches puberty an endocrine gland named hypothalamus which is present in the brain of human males uh, secretes a hormone named gonadotrophin releasing hormone. GnRH for short. Now this GnRH from the hypothalamus goes and binds to the anterior pituitary which is another endocrine gland also present in the brain. Anterior pituitary upon stimulation by GnRH secretes hormones named gonadotrophins. Gonadotrophins are of two types LH and FSH. LH is luteinizing hormone. Now this LH goes and binds to interstitial cells called Leydig cells which are present in the testes of human males. Now easy way to remember this is L for LH, L for Leydig cells. Now LH from anterior pituitary goes and binds to the Leydig cells and then stimulate them to synthesize and secrete androgens. Andro male gen generating. The androgens are male generating hormones. Example testosterone. So the second is FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. FSH goes and binds to Sertoli cells or nurse cells which are present in the seminiferous vestibules of testes of males. Right. So FSH has S in it, Sertoli cells S. So FSH goes and binds to Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells are known as nurse cells because they help in providing nourishment to the developing sperms. And upon stimulation by FSH, they perform the function of spermiogenesis. Spermiogenesis refers to um, the differentiation of the proper differentiation of sperms. So the hormonal regulation is like this. From puberty, hypothalamus secretes a hormone named GnRH. GnRH goes and binds to anterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary then secretes gonadotrophins. Gonadotrophins are of two types, LH and FSH. LH goes and binds to Leydig cells in order to secrete, synthesize and secrete androgens, example testosterone. FSH on the other hand goes and binds to Sertoli cell. Sertoli cells help in spermiogenesis that is differentiation of sperms and it also helps in providing nourishment to the developing sperms. Thank you.